So before we dive into the demo, let's take a look at how these container runtimes work under the hood. So on the left, you've got Docker, which runs all your containers inside a single shared Linux VM. That means multiple containers can see the same kernel and potentially the same process space or even environmental variables, depending on the configuration. And then on the right, you have Apple's container framework, which launches a separate lightweight VM for each container. There's no shared kernel, no shared process ID namespace, and no opportunity for one container to spy on the other. So this, this diagram might look familiar if you've looked at Adira's site. So this is exactly how Adira is architected to. We run each pod or container in its own micro VM, uh, completely isolated at the kernel level, which eliminates an entire class of shared runtime security risk. So now let's go ahead and dive into the demo. So we're going to demo with Docker, again, which launches a single Linux VM to run multiple containers and then Apple's container framework, which spins up a separate lightweight VM for each container. So we'll run two containers, one that sets a sensitive environmental variable and the other that attempts to access that secret. So this will illustrate the difference in isolation between shared and per container VM models and why it matters for security. All right, let's get started. So we're first going to start with Docker. Um, so we are going to build an image that sets a sensitive environmental variable. So let's take a look at that Docker file. There we go. So let's go ahead and build this. Take just a second. So let's make sure that ran or built Docker images. There we go. We see it built. All right, let's go ahead and run this. And we will also set an environmental variable when we run this. Okay, so Docker PS, we can see it's running. So let's go build the other container here. So let's take a look at this Docker file. As you can see, it's just building an Ubuntu image. So let's go ahead and build that. Okay, and now Docker images. So we can see that has built. Let's go ahead and run this. So you can see the PID equals host. So this tells Docker to share the host process namespace with the container, or in simple terms, the container can see and interact with all the processes running on the host or VM, not just its own. So let's go ahead and get a shell on the Raider container here. All right, let's see what it can see. So this is a lot more verbose and information than you should be seeing. So you're seeing a lot of stuff that's actually running on the host VM, not just the container. So let's see if we can see the process that the other container is running, which is uh, sleep.h. All right, and there we go. So um in theory we should be able to see the environmental variables the secrets that were set there so if we cat the process which is 751 well there's a lot of information in there so let's grep for that secret real quick and see what we can actually see here So as you can see, with certain parameters set, um, containers can then get access to the host node or VM and see information set by other containers or even more malicious stuff could happen. So obviously this isn't good. So let's go ahead and go and try to run the same scenario with the Apple container framework. So first we wanna get the API server started here. Okay. So just to demonstrate, we are in the same directory. We have the same 
Docker file here that sets a secret and runs that sleep.sh. So let's go ahead and build this. And you'll notice the commands are pretty similar to Docker. So this will take just a minute to grab a few things. All right, so you can see that the leaky vessel image has been created. Um, let's go ahead and run this the same way we ran this on Docker, setting the other secret environmental variable here. Okay, let's see if that is running. And it is. So let's go build the Ubuntu image. And just to show that we're using the same file, there we go. Let's go ahead and build this. All right, that is built. What image. There we go, we see the Ubuntu image. Let's go ahead and run this with the same commands we did with Docker. And you'll see that the dash dash pid did not work. Um, so you can't directly use all of Docker's commands um, with Apple's runtime because it has a different execution model. So, um, so things like dash dash pid equals host or dash dash privilege um, won't work in the Apple container runtime because it is in a sandbox VM with no access to the host namespace. So let's go ahead and try to run it without it. All right, so now let's go ahead and get a shell on this container. Let's see what processes are running. As you can see, very minimal. Um, and obviously if we grep for sleep.sh, we should not see it. Nope, we only see the grep. So we have been protected against potentially malicious behavior here. Um, Adira also protects us against this, but in the case of Adira, if you did run something in privilege mode because you needed to, because it's running with its own kernel and its own is Edira zone, um, it would not be shared with the other containers. And that concludes this demo.